Over the past few weeks, you have voted for your favorite presenters of the 80s, 90s and noughties. The moment of truth has arrived. In our last video of the series, we will pay tribute to the most popular host between 2010 and 2016. Summon Kaishu Ba. That is so true. With hardly any doubt, your votes went to the hosts of the Eurovision Song Contest, Petra Meda and Mats Zamelo. Let's go back to Gluben Arena once again and have a look at their best moments. Gluben, are we ready to start the competition? I even saw some signs with your name on it, Mons. Yes, thankfully I have a couple of monsters in the audience. A few what? Monsters. That's what my fans are called, monsters. Oh, very interesting. Well, <clears throat> you know, I also have some fans. Oh, yeah? Yes. And, um, and what are they called? They are called very intelligent people. You know, it was first rumored that Ivan was going to perform live on stage, totally naked, surrounded by wolves. But unfortunately, it was decided that that was against the rules. I might not be a Eurovision winning international sex symbol, but at least I'm still, you know, Petra Mede. Yes, you are. Welcome, Welcome Europe! Europe! Europe the band, Europe the continent. Oh, that was embarrassing. We apologize. Very, very embarrassing. It's time for the final countdown. No, no, come on. No, no, no. what are you doing? No, 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 no. no. this is impossible. No. Oh, this often happens in Sweden. Oh, yes, it's very unfortunate. Oh. Okay, well, where were we? You can vote for as many countries as you want, but you cannot vote for your own country. I know, because I tried that a couple of times last year. Did you? No. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'm sorry, Moss, but you know my favorite was the Italian song. You know how much I, I love Italian men. Of course. Well, anyway, the, the lines are open. Keep voting. Tonight is not about us. Well, actually, it is for a few more minutes. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> we have to keep the schedule. We have to keep the schedule. <laughs> to all our new viewers, a very warm welcome. And all these newcomers must, from all around the world must be looking at us right now thinking the exact same thing. What on earth is going on? Yes, I'm sure they're thinking, what are these people doing? And who is that beautiful woman on stage? And why is her son standing next to her? Well, and why doesn't he just shut up and sing? <laughs> now, these are all fair questions, especially if you're watching for the very first time. Maybe you wonder, what is this wonderful Eurovision Song Contest thing? Let us try and explain it to you. The Eurovision is... Uh... The Eurovision, the Eurovision, the Eurovision... Oh, how would you describe it? Well... It's a multinational competition with a collaborative mission. So much like the Olympics in a way. It's an annual celebration of our culture. It's the highlight of our year. And a victory can sure catapult ya. Just look at my career. Yes, so we see. You get to share the stage with me. But it's something you either love or hate. That's your vision. the show in approximately three to eight hours, we will have a new champion and the reigning champion, Mons, will go back to being just Mons Selmelöv again. A 
And do you know, do you know Mons, what that means? Yes. I can eat carbs again. Yes, congratulations. Woo, woo. <laughs> you truly are the best and the most devoted audience in the world. Yes, you are. And I might add the most respectful audience in the world. I was at a Eurovision party last night, surrounded by fans, and none of the guys came on to me. <laughs> was it the same for you, Mons? Well, any, anyway, I got I to gotta stretch. I got to go get ready. Yeah, I'll go stretch. All right, thank you. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. And look who's here, Petra Mede. Yes, I'm not so bad either. My name is Mons Selmerlöv, or as most people call me after winning the Eurovision, the king of pop. Do they? <laughs> really? Not so much. But maybe you could. Uh, I, I'd really prefer not to. Up until this year, the Eurovision Song Contest has crowned 60 winners. Well, actually 63 if you count 1969, when four countries split the win. Hmm. Please don't interrupt me again. Over the years, 63 winners have graced our stage. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the ultimate Eurovision winner. Drums. There has to be drums. It doesn't hurt if the drums are played by gorgeous, topless men. It's proven very efficient throughout the years. But please feel free to try other alternatives. It's proven very helpful to go the exact opposite way. Use a grandmother. In Eurovision, nothing says winner like a violin. Trust us, bring a violin. Step six, costumes. You need to look memorable, something that the viewers will notice. Oh, perfect. Let the song begin with passion, let the wind begin to blow. You can break the rules of fashion and your chance to win shall grow. Look into the TV camera so the audience can see that you're lovable, not desperate. Smile and they will vote for me. Fill the stage with light as dancers will join us. The expectations grow. It's time for the chorus. Love, love, peace, peace. For women baking bread, peace, peace, love, love. And a man in a hamster wheel, love, peace, peace, love. Make it unforgettable. You will be the best. And win the Eurovision Song Contest. Now we'll go down a notch. Our hands will touch, pretending. Change the key, we'll give the world a show. It begins to snow. In a few moments, we will reveal the ten finalists from this semi final. But to make sure that everything went as planned and that all the votes from the juries and viewers were counted properly, let's turn to the most powerful man in the room right now, the Dumbledore of Eurovision. Norway's greatest export since the salmon. The most photographed Norwegian since Metemorit, Mr. Jon Ola Sand. Thunder and lightning, it's getting exciting. And we have a new winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2016, it's Ukraine! Petra, thank you for making this one of the best weeks of my life. Lovely, lovely, Mons. Thank you for making this just the greatest week I ever had. And thanks to everyone watching us at home. We wish you a good and peaceful night. Au revoir, Takogunat. Take it away, the stage is yours, Ukraine!